boom, 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 boom. That's me, token vaping. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so today's juice review is going to be the next flavor in a line. As always, I'm trying to rotate out between a few different companies um, and trying to basically just do a video per flavor to shorten the video time to make it easier to watch, but also to devote a bit more time to each flavor instead of trying to cram multiple flavors into uh, one video. So the flavor I am doing is from the line Bamboo Nectar e-liquids. Now, do not go by this label. Um, they were in the process of getting their new labels um, done. The graphics are going to be the same, but there's not going to be a white background. It is going to be a clear label. So I just want to make sure that that's uh, notated out there. So do not go off of the label specifically here. But as you can see, it does have uh, the name of the company with the, the panda dripping. Um, it also has the uh, mix ratio and the size of the bottle to 75-25 mix and it comes in a 0, 2, 4, and a 6. And you have the website here, which is bamboonectar.com. Now, it is still under construction um, because once you type it in, it will take you straight directly to their Facebook page. They are also on Instagram. So those are the two main media sites that they operate off of. It does have the warning and ingredients label there and the flavor. This is Captain's Berry Treasure. Hmm. Now, I did do uh, a first video with them on their first flavor that I tried was Birthday Boy. Um, so you can check that out on my YouTube channel. The other four flavors in this line, it's a five flavor line. The other four flavors are, are, all, are all various breakfast cereals. Um, so I did the Birthday Boy first uh, just to kind of get that out of the way. And then the next four are going to be all breakfast cereal based. Captain's Berry Treasure. Hmm. Wonder if that's going to be a crunchy captain. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. As I stated, they are on Instagram and Facebook, and they are based in Orange County, California. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. It is a first, first vape, first review. And as always, I did re-wick for the video, brand new, using my ta -da, Texas Tough Cotton. Um, I have used a, a few other different types of cotton out there. Obviously, I have not used everything that's out there, but... Uh, Texas Tough works really well for me. I do like the way it wicks. I do like how easy it is to, to use. Um, and it holds flavor pretty well for me without having a lot of cotton uh, taste to that. So that's one of the main reasons why I do like it. So on Instagram, it's Texas Tough Cotton if you want to check it out. So we're going to go ahead and bust this open. And there is a safety seal ring underneath the cap. So I can sit here and do this all day, which would be really boring, but it will not come off. So pressure and twist and you should hear a little pop right there and then it comes in a convenient 30 mil unicorn bottle of its own with a uh, slim tip so it makes it really easy to wick for tanks or drippers hmm very fruity very sweet let's get into vaping this so I'm gonna go ahead and juice this up and regardless of what type of security is on the, the bottle itself, whether it's a wrap, a seal, tape, cap, lid, flap, does not matter what it is. Um, you know, just keep an eye out for it. If something about it makes you skeptical, if it makes you second guess it, if it just makes you uncomfortable, just don't use it. Um, contact where the shop that you got it from, contact where you ordered it from, contact where whoever distributes it, makes it, whatever. Contact whoever you need to. Let them know what's going on so that they can take steps to rectify the situation and make sure that you get the product in the form that it was properly meant to be sent in the first place. And we can avoid any type of mistakes or hassles in that sense. So, no matter what, at the end of the day, regardless of what it is, it's about your health and safety. That's the number one priority. So let's just keep that in mind out there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this juiced up just a slight bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a pre-burn just to get the juices flowing through here. And I will finish juicing this up. Now, no matter what I get out of this flavor, regardless of how it tastes to me, regardless of how it vapes to me, always remember, this is my opinion. I'm not trying to impose it on anybody. I'm not trying to uh, force it on anyone. Um, I'm just basically trying to give you what I get out of this to try to give you a little more of an informative base to go off of to see if it's something you may want to try. That's all. So 
I'm going to go ahead and cap this. And as always, I am vaping at 75 watts. And this is Captain's Buried Treasure from Bamboo Nectar. Sorry, just felt the need to do that. Chip a little bit more, and we'll go from there. Now, as you can tell, for a 7525, the clouds are pretty solid, so that's good. And I should tell you, um, these were sent uh, to me in a four milligram nicotine. Now, I normally vape a three, so anything above that is going to be a little strong for me. However, if you've watched my previous video on their other flavor, um, the nicotine they use is actually really, really smooth. So it didn't hit me as hard as you know trying a higher nicotine in other in other flavors. So it was kind of impressive. Now. I did vape the other flavor for a while and it did start to get to me a little bit, but again, it's a bit more nicotine than I'm used to vaping. So, but it's not as hard of a hit as you would think it is um, being a little bit more. I mean, anytime you change your nicotine level, it's gonna affect you a little differently, but this is a lot smoother than I was expecting. So it did not hit as rough as I thought it was going to. Um, so that definitely is a good positive on their half. Okay, now I will say because of the little bit higher of a nicotine, I do get a very slight throat hit. It's not a scratchy, it's not harsh, um, but I do feel it a slight bit. Not a deal breaker, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm not a fan of the throat hit, but this I, I could deal with because like again, I said, it's not super, super strong. Flavor wise, the flavor is definitely there. Um, but I will tell you, it is not as punchy or in your face as I was thinking it was going to be, um, which can be good or bad. If you're expecting it to have a really strong um, flavor punch uh, and basically just overwhelm your tongue right off the bat, it's not going to do that, at least not for me. I, it's very smooth. It's a very mellow flavor. But... I get more of it on the tail end of it on the exhale. I don't get as as hard of a hit off the inhale, but as I exhale it, the tail end of it definitely tastes like, you know, Captain the the Captain cereal, um, but more in a milk base. It's not uh, it's not going to be a straight out of the box flavor. I know there's a lot of people that like cereal flavors, but they like the dry cereal flavor taste. This is not that. This is more of a a creamier base bowl of milk. Uh, with the cereal in it. Yeah. So like I said, clouds are definitely really, really solid. I do like that. Um, throat hit is very, very bare. Um, change, the change of nicotine, like I said, is not super harsh to deal with. Um, the longer I vape it, it does start to affect me a little bit, but that's going to be with any time you raise your nicotine level. But again, the flavor, it's not a strong out-of-the-box uh, dry cereal taste. It is definitely more uh, bowl of milk based with um, the cereal after it's sat a little bit and then you eat it. You definitely get that that tail end of the of the cereal. So if you like that, if you like this type of cereal, um, definitely give it a shot. Like I said, it is a mainly cereal based flavor line, so we definitely will check out the other ones. Um, if you realize that it is Captain's Buried Treasure, I'm pretty sure you can kind of forge forego uh, the guessing game and pretty much figure out what other sugar type cereal flavors they're probably going to be. But I will, I will do ones for each of them and I will uh, relay the information to you as well. Regardless of anything else, Bamboo Nectar, thank you guys so much. It is a true honor to be able to do the reviews for your company. Um, what you're doing with the with the, the flavors is is really impressive. Your nicotine uh, that you're using is really smooth. As I said, you know, raising it up a little bit doesn't make a huge huge difference until it's long term vaping for me. Um, but again, it's still not a deal breaker. So definitely check them out. They're a really solid line. Um, check out their Facebook and their Instagram. The pricing on the 30 mil bottles are really reasonable and. 
you know, maybe it'd just be a good solid breakfast cereal line to pull into your uh, shop or uh, mention to your shop to have on their shelves. With that, as always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest. No matter what it is, if there's anything that I can do to help further enhance your vaping experience, it's the only reason why I'm doing this. So please reach out to me. Let me know if there's a specific video you want to see, if there's uh, questions that you have that you think I can help you uh, figure out the answer to. Whatever I can do to help, that's all I'm, I'm trying to do. So with that, I am so grateful, and thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Until next time, vape on, vape strong.